doesn't love a good neon light to stun your audience? It's a good way to make things pop and stand out. Today, I'll be showing you how to quickly make custom neon animated lights in After Effects. What's up everyone? This is Jordan Bertel with Sonduck Film. Be sure to like the video and let's get started. Remember, you can get the Saber plugin from the link available in the description down below. First, we're going to set up our Saber effect with a looping flicker animation. Start by going to Layer, New, Solid, click OK, then go to Effect, Video Copilot, Saber. In the Effect Controls panel, we'll leave this color as is, then set a keyframe for glow intensity, move forward a few frames in the timeline, and set glow intensity to 15%. Hold the Alt key, then click the stopwatch for glow intensity and type in a loop out, parentheses, quotations, ping pong, just like this. Now you can see the glow of our saber is flickering in an infinite loop. Next, we'll bring the core start down to around 800, and the core end up to around 200. We're doing this to leave some room at the bottom of the screen for when we add a reflection. Open flicker settings, set flicker intensity to 35%, open glow settings, set glow intensity multiplier to 90, and lastly, we'll rename the layer to saber and set its mode to add. We have our main saber complete, so now we'll duplicate it. We'll change the color of this one to a nice purple. Then to move the saber, we'll take the X value of core start and decrease it to bring the saber to the left, then copy and paste that value into the core end to fully move it over. Now we'll duplicate the saber again, this time we'll change its color to red, and move the core start and core end to the right so that we have three sabers next to each other like this. Lastly, offset all of the sabers on the timeline so that their flickers aren't in unison and bring them all back on the timeline so that they don't pop in. Now we have our first set of sabers created and animated. Next, we're going to add a cool reflection effect to our sabers. Start by highlighting all of the sabers and pre-composing them. We'll name it to Sabers and click OK. Then make sure you set the mode of this pre-comp to Add. Next, we'll add this stock texture image underneath of the saber layers that we'll be using as our floor for the reflection. Set the texture to a 3D layer, press R for rotation, set the X rotation to negative 90 degrees, then press P for position and bring the texture down so that it connects with the bottom of the screen like this. Now hide this texture layer, duplicate the pre-comp, go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, we'll rename it to Blur, Put it in between the two pre-comps and go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Compound Blur. Finally, set the Blur layer to the Texture Floor layer that we have, then take the pre-comp underneath of the Blur layer and bring it down underneath of the other sabers like this. And now you have this awesome reflective floor effect. Lastly, I'll show you a few different ways to manipulate the saber effect to get some custom results. Here we have a basic layer with the saber effect applied, and if we want it to have a custom path, what we'll do is highlight it, select the pen tool, then click to create a custom path that you want. Now in the effect controls panel, open customize core and set the core type to layer mask, and now the saber will follow the path that we just created. If you want to add more custom sabers to your composition, after you duplicate it, you'll move it by moving the mask you created instead of changing the core start and core end, like this. Next, we'll look at a way to animate the saber across a custom path, so here we have another standard saber. We'll select the pen tool again, and this time we'll draw a long winding path, like this. Once you have the mask made, go into settings and set the core type to layer mask again. Then to animate it, all you need to do is decrease the end offset to the size you want your saber to be. Alt click the stopwatch for evolution and type in time asterisk 200. Now the saber will continually animate across the path that you just made. That's it! Now you know the different ways to utilize the saber effect and how to add a nice reflective surface to enhance your compositions. To close out this video, as you may know, creating motion graphics can be incredibly time consuming. That's why we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce professional work with our Motion Duck extension. For example, you can easily preview templates from one of our packs and just click the apply button. Then you can quickly change the template parameters and you're done. So if you're looking to gain an edge within your work, check out every template we have for After Effects and Premiere Pro with the links below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more post-production tutorials every week, and remember, always be creating.